The warmth of the sun definitely shined some light yesterday on RMU's softball field as the girls took on Youngstown State in a doubleheader. With the intensity just as high for both games, the Colonials were able to rise to the occasion. Robert Morris used strong pitching and solid hitting to power past the Penguins 3-2 in eight innings in the first game and 4-3 in the second half of the doubleheader. NEC Player of the Week Annie Dubovic stole the show and clinched both games from the circle. Head coach Craig Coleman was able to share a few words on yesterday's games as well as an optimistic look into the remaining season. Robert Morris opened the day with two runs in the first inning. J.C. Timko got the Colonials going with her leadoff single and scored off a fierce Jessica Calderon who hit one down the left field line. With one out, Sarah Cap would also pick up a single to drive in Calderon for the second tally. In the top of the third, however, the Penguins would deadlock the game at two, where the score would stay until the bottom of the eighth frame. Timko then once again led off with a hit in the eighth and came home to score the winning run when Annie Dubovic put a single through the right side for the win. With Game 1 victorious, the girls continue the contest strong, registering two runs in the third frame with hits from Timko and Calderon. Both games seem to parallel each other. Honestly, I don't think there was a lot of difference. Uh, both games, our pitchers uh, pitched really well. Both games, we made a couple of defensive errors. Both games, we hit the ball okay, but not what we're capable of. Honestly, the two games were very similar to each other, I think. With Youngstown State keeping the competition intense, RMU looked towards pitcher Annie Dubovic once more to secure the remainder of Game 2. Her concentration and ambition are truly what drove the Colonials to finish what they had started in the beginning of this rivalry. Um, Annie, uh, Annie sucked it up. Uh, Annie uh, has, be has become a very clutch pitcher, and she's really learned how to handle pressure, and she did a great job with that today. Throughout Game 2, the Colonials held tough as the Penguins tried a late rally attempt in the top of the six, but fell short as RMU held on to win 4-3. With this series now in the books, the future is what Coach Coleman is looking forward to. Um, I'm optimistic. I think we are hitting the ball really, really well. Our pitchers are both throwing well right now. Um, I think that we're going to have a great conference season. With two more series in the Colonials' future, the team's unity seems evident as they appear ready for a strong finish to the regular season. Although the Penguins went home disappointed, it's now back to intense practices and team bonding before they take on St. Francis, PA early next week. Jackie King, Colonial Sports Center.